got a little nighttime vibe going on here, everybody. Welcome to my nighttime setup. We could go brighter on this, but we're gonna keep it a little more mellow tonight because we're doing an advanced bedding style. Now, this is very similar to the connection style, but it has a different approach to it that I wanna go over. Now, I found out this approach kind of randomly while teaching one of my students that kind of gave this analogy, and I'm like, this makes perfect sense. So, I'm teaching it to you, y'all, tonight. So basically, this is how it works. It's called the passenger style, as you already know by the title of the video. And the passenger style is just like you drive in a car, you've got a driver and you've got a passenger, okay? So basically, let's say your hand is the driver and your foot is the passenger. Wherever the driver takes you, the passenger goes, okay? It's literally that simple. Now, if you apply that to some unique threads, you start to get this very interesting concept that kind of plays off the connection style, where this is the connection style, where you just bring any part of your body to another part of your body, and you move it over, you transfer it. The difference here is you have, again, one passenger and one driver. So, let's give you an example of one of my combos, how I did it. So, as you guys are familiar with my pendulum, which is this one, where I go, around up here, around up here, boom, 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 that one. This is a passenger, this is a driver. Why? Because if you notice, my hand is never gonna move anywhere without my foot leading it there. So my foot is going to be literally picking up my hand and telling it where to go. You see that? My hand is not moving without my foot moving it, <laughs> okay? So, and that's literally the concept. Now, if you play with it within certain threads, then you can either get a very drawn out set, you can just get a little one, or you can get a very stationary move that has an illusion to it. So, hence the pendulum thread where half of my body isn't moving. It's literally just the passenger and the driver that is moving, okay? And again, it's very important that you stay true to that rule which is the passenger doesn't backstreet drive and the driver doesn't be a passenger, right? Because if suddenly I start doing this, it's gonna mess it all up, right? You gotta stay within that flow or else it just becomes something different, which is fine, but it's not really within this style. So that's the way to do it with the stationary way. Now, it's a lot easier to do it with your hand being the passenger than your foot. So I'm gonna give you an example with my second combo of how you make the foot the passenger, because this way is a lot harder. As you guys saw before, I did this whole combo right here. So if you notice, where does my foot become the passenger? So my foot doesn't become the passenger until right here when I transfer it, because right here, I'm going through. I'm pushing my foot through and then I'm catching again, then I'm threading here. Now I'm placing it, my foot's not moving until I move it right here. I pick it up. And then again, right here, I'm moving my body around the passenger. And again, right here, I'm moving my foot to the next spot, right? So this is the whole style basis, it's not complicated. It's just literally playing with one passenger, one driver. So again, I'm gonna give you the example. So I'm going here, boom. So again, it becomes a passenger when I grab it right here. Because before that, which is this, this foot right here, see, this is not a passenger anymore. This is a driver, it's doing its own thing, right? And then right here when I grab it, now I'm leading it with my hand. And again, this is the vocal point right now. My foot, my whole body, I mean, is moving around my foot, you know what I'm saying? So that's how you do it, again, if your foot's the passenger, now what if you're doing standing up? Well, that's where the last combo comes in. So this is a combo I created a little while ago, but I revamped it just for teaching purposes. So basically, the combo that I created is just this, boom, 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 hit. So for this combo, my left hand is my passenger. Now this is where it gets a little bit more complicated because I'm standing up, right? And threading with your hand standing up is a little bit less, uh, easy than it is on the ground. So basically what I'm doing is I'm going here, here, and now right here, this is the passenger now, my left hand. So I'm not gonna move my hand until my arm actually physically moves it down. And then here again, I'm not, this hand's not moving to that leg. My body is moving to that leg, you see? And then again, here, I'm not moving this hand, I'm moving my legs, right? And again, my leg is moving my hand now over here. And then my back leg, right here, my left leg, 
it's gonna move my arm up, you see? I'm not going like this, my arm's moving it up. Boom, around, etc. right? So again, play with this as much as you want. You can get as complex as you want, or you can just literally use it as a concept. If you go off topic with it, totally. Whatever inspires the motion, right? So for me, it's one of my favorite styles to play with because you can add a lot of illusion into it because you're playing with that fixed motion, right? But the rest of your body is doing all this crazy stuff. So again, my whole body is moving around that arm. So even though if you do that quick, you have no idea what I'm doing, right? Because it's an illusion, that's the point. But it's based off that concept. You understand? So it's based off the concept of that hand staying still. My body's moving, moving that hand. You see what I mean? And then I'm doing the other threads. So that concept hopefully is going to inspire you guys to do a little bit more creative stuff with your threading and give you a little bit more of a concept to work off of. Again, this is just a blueprint. This is just a teaching style I like to kind of go for. And if it works for you, great. If it doesn't, that's cool. There's lots out there for you to do. So basically the point of making this was I wanted to break down connection style into a little bit more of a bite-sized chunk with literally just having a passenger and a driver. And again, like you don't have to do this with just your hands and legs. That's just the easiest. You do it with your knees, with your head, with whatever. One passenger, one driver. You can make literally your knee the driver. So let's say you do a thread like this suddenly. Knee here. Knee now moves you here, then around to here. Then it's switched over to here, and now come back up, right? Like that's just a silly concept, but, or again, what if this hand is a driver, and your knee is a passenger like that? You pull it where it's gotta go, and then you can kind of create threads within that concept. Your head could be the driver. Let's say this knee's a passenger. You go, boom, down, push under, pull up, around. Now by itself that could be kind of whack, but you got to remember this is just some, an additive to your other movements. So you don't have to stick with it by itself. It can be a concept you apply to whatever movement you want. So maybe you just did like CC, but you add like CC hit and then you went head, push down and then continue to like this combo and then back up and then you're like, oh, I want to bring back my head. So you go like, I don't know, under your chin or some crazy stuff. You got to make it up. I'm just going off topic here now. So. Long story short, hope that helps you guys. This is your boy, Maze My Needle from Now Never Crew. Now, I want you guys to tell me what you would want next within threading, okay? So, because it's a threading video, what other thing would you like with threading? Do you want it clean? Do you want more concepts? Do you just want more moves? Would you guys like to see more styles like the passenger style, but also have bigger breakdown videos of this? Did this make sense? Was it not clear enough? You let me know, you decide. This is your boy, Mace Manito. Again, from now on, never crew. If you like this video, please comment down below, like the video, subscribe, smash that bell button, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. I upgraded my Patreon a little bit to give you guys some exclusive content, if you're interested in that. So I decided to redo my newsletter. So I'm bringing my newsletter back. I'm also going to be doing uh, voting on new content that I'm creating. So basically, First tier will be a newsletter. If you're interested in that, we're gonna be adding all my tips and tricks and exclusive underground content, you know, all the good stuff. And then also the second tier will be for anyone that wants to actually like vote and have an opinion on what I'm gonna post. Then I'm gonna be giving you guys kind of like three or five video ideas I have and you can pick which one you'd like to see. And then also the final tier will be a monthly video call with me. So for instance, if you have any moves you want help on but you wanna physically show me, We'll do it live, so it'll be like a Skype call or a video chat if you ever FaceTime anybody or anything like that for an hour. So whoever is in that tier will get access to that. And then you can either ask me anything, you can ask me to show you things, or it can literally just be like your personal live stream. All right, okay, thanks so much guys. Before you go, if you're not completely sick of my face already, don't forget to get my free course, Breaking Made Simple. To access the course, all you have to do is go to the link down below. To get the free download, all you have to do is join the Facebook group, Breaking Made Simple, which is a hub for people to learn, grow, and just get better and become the best b-boys they possibly can, man.